Thank you for watching the Griffin Design video, the Monte Carlo project named Blue Magic. So folks, thought I'd give you an update here. As you can see, these quarter panels, I went ahead and put some uh, Bondo glass on them to hold them tight, just like the glue that's on there. And then I put a little filler on them so that I can sand them smooth and then 45 them all the way out like the other ones y'all seen on that other Monte Carlo. But uh, I actually do all the sanding at the end of the process. Oh, and what we're doing is the interior on this uh, Monte Carlo that we did this console for it was the one with the uh gray and then all the blue lights if y'all go back on my instagram y'all see that but i do all the sanding at the end so then what we also going to be working on is the doors today and so as you can see i got the carpet ripped off which was some gray carpet threw it in the trash over here and then uh i always check for handle and how they fit and as you can see Chevy didn't really do a good job back then, but things were probably made by hand and not machine, most of it. So as you see, there's a gap. So if you notice, I'm gonna fix this. And so what we did is we put some masking tape on the handle, slid the handle in, and then I'm gonna use Bondo glass to push in that crack and let it actually adhere to the door, but then pop the handle off, and then we'll gap it, which is basically sanding it down about a maybe a 32nd, 16th of an inch, so then when we go to wrap the door and slide the handle back on, there won't be any gap. And both of them is actually like that. Some doors, they have them, some doors don't. And on both of these doors, it's pretty even on both of them. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get those filled in with some Bondo glass. And so I ain't sponsored by Bondo, but they sure can if they want to. But this is what I'm talking about. It's actually uh, filling resin with fiberglass. Sorry about that folks, got interrupted there. But what I was saying is, Bondo, you want to sponsor me? Come on. But we use the Bondo glass. That's actually some uh, fiberglass with some resin mixed in. And then it'll help get this strong. Now, two ways of doing this. Sand down is plastic, because you always really need to, so that you can hit here. The other thing I noticed that uh, with plastic repair, a lot of people will just poke small holes. And then when they go to actually put the glass and stuff on it, it'll push through. And almost act as if it's like connecting and holding it so that um, it doesn't come off. But technically, when you put this stuff on here, as long as you sand it so it's not smooth, um, when you go to wrap it, it'll hold itself on there like it should. Um, but we use Bondo glass because this is a handle you're pulling on. So the last thing you want to do is any cracks or anything like that happen. So we're going to use that. The other thing is the customer doesn't have the mirror um, and don't have window switches or lock switches because the window switches are actually in the console and then he doesn't have lock switches because he has a popper on his remote and so what we do is we're going to bondo glass that as well but what i use is chipboard and if you don't know what chipboard is your local upholstery store like fabric store will actually sell it um, but chipboard is basically this stuff it's like cardboard but it's super thin but it's really really strong uh, we use it to, I use it to draw out templates on, and then every once in a while I use it as backing so that when I go to put some Bondo glass or something like that, it'll, it already has a strong surface, and then it'll just form everything together and smooth and hold it in place versus using like masking tape or something like that. So that's how we're going to delete those. So I'll come back to you all once I got this fiberglass in. Probably won't sand it smooth because I'm going to do all the sanding at the end of the process. So then after we do that, we're going to go ahead and get our mold made here uh, for two six and a halves and a three or four inch tweeter. All right, we're back with these doors. And you can see it's bond up glass. And when I stick the handle on here, I'm sorry, I'm over here doing this with one hand. You can see it covers it. And that's what you want to take out that gap. Then when you go to sand it, Boom. There should be a little gap in there because of the material. So that when the material is wrapped on the handle on the door, no gap. 
That's what it's supposed to look like. Not a gap that it comes with. Nah, we gotta make it look better than that. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. So we got the doors. I got the hose cut out so the speaker can sit in there flush. The carpet ripped off. I actually changed the design up a little bit, as you can see. I went ahead and put uh, the design that's going on the seats and on the upper door panels on the lower door panel. And I actually cut this on the CNC machine because it's actually exactly a quarter of an inch in from the carpet. So it makes it flush when I got to go put the pie piece on top. And then I put a filler panel here so to keep everything level. So this one's actually attached. That piece is actually attached. So I want to come and show you this. There's still a ring that actually sits up about a half an inch. And then there's a piece that sits inside of here that actually is uh, black screened. And then everything else is wrapped so that you can hide the speakers. But as you can see, that one actually is already in place. And so, and I already sent the door. So then from here, I actually need to do some Bondo glass or you can fiberglass it, or you can foam it, um, or you can liquid foam it, whatever you wanna do to end up getting the shape that you need from here on out. So it just depends on how you wanna actually do it. And then you gotta do a little shaping up in the front. As you can see here, I left a little clearance. On the last one, I went all the way to the edge, which is fine, but you run the risk of it bumping that door seal. So I always go up about an eighth of an inch or a quarter just to make sure that I have room so when the door is shutting, plus on these old schools, sometimes the door hang if they need a pin in the door and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and figure out what I wanna do next. I'm gonna get this other one glued in and then I'm gonna figure out if I wanna actually, you know, bondo glass, fiberglass, foam it, whatever I'm gonna end up doing to make it lightweight and not heavy. And the MDF is pretty light, as you can see. These uh, bottom pieces are only just rings. So you can see I got them glued over here but they're just little rings, so it's pretty light. The only thing that's actually solid is this top piece that the speakers are gonna sit in. So try to keep the doors as light as possible. Please like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube and follow us on Instagram.